Hey guys, Ari here. I just wanted to do a really short video, just to update you guys. As you can see, I'm here at home. Obviously, I haven't done a whole lot, hence the hair, the makeup, because I am on quarantine. No, I'm not personally sick, but we're under a stay-at-home order through our state government. My business is closed down. Unfortunately, my husband's is not, so he's still having to work, but we're taking all the proper precautions. Um, we have all the supplies that we need, but we're not hoarding. Don't be a hoarder. Don't be a jerk. Um, elderly people need products, too. Um, and don't be rude to your cashiers while you're at it. They're out there risking their life for a job that doesn't provide them with a whole lot of money. Um, and they're doing it basically for our benefit. So, let's keep that in mind. Um, but I just wanted to talk for just a minute and just let you guys know what was going on. Um, let you know, too, that, um, you know, you're going to hear and you have heard a lot of bull on various um, news sites and from certain leaders telling you that basically this is a hoax. It's all going to go away. It's not a hoax, guys. It's not going to just magically disappear. No amount of magical thinking is going to make that happen. What makes that happen is when we listen to the medical professionals and follow their advice. Social distancing, proper hand washing, sanita uh, sanitation, those are the things that we have to do. And I encourage everyone to do that. It's going to be a struggle. We have not seen the worst of this. Don't let Donald dumbass Trump convince you that we have. Um, things are going to get worse before they get better. But this is also not the first pandemic that planet Earth has had to deal with. We will get through it. The LGBT community, we especially know what it's like to have a pandemic at the same time as having an inept government to handle it. Um, it happened during the initial HIV crisis. And yes, a lot of people were lost, but the community knew how to band together to look out for one another. And even though we're social distancing, we can still do that. We can show support. My prayers are with you. I hope you're doing well. Please be smart about this. Be as safe as you possibly can. Um, lots of love from me and my family. You know, my husband, we all wish you nothing but the best. And... Um, We'll pull through this, and hopefully, eventually, life will be able to go back to normal. But probably not on Easter Sunday, by the way. Anyway, guys, um, my phrase from Kesha, don't let the bastards get you down. And don't let anybody tell you that there is a single human life worth risking so that we can add a point to the Dow. No life is worth that. Businesses will struggle. Businesses can be replaced. Humans can't. So, just keep that in mind. Your grandparents, your parents, your children, you, you have value. They all have value. And their value is much more than any dollar tag that anybody can put on them for some stupid-ass economic number and a chance at securing their re-election. We are better than that as a country, and we will not let a monster in the Oval Office pull us down to that level. God bless each and every one of you. Um, lots of love from me, my husband, and my family. Um, Thank you for all the support.